this tutorial we're going to start getting everything ready for the ultra key which is a way of green screening or getting rid of the green background to just reveal the puppet and we're going to work through the project in a few tutorials the first thing we need to say is that when you are working with a green screen effect what you ought to do is mat out or get rid of any of the background that you're not going to be using now if we just look at the project here you'll see that the puppet is pretty much just at the bottom of the screen and when he does get shot towards the end you'll see that he's not even using the whole of the screen he's coming down at this point here you can see the interlacing here so what we really want to do is get rid of this part of the screen because otherwise we're asking the ultra key to do a lot more work to get rid of the background where nothing is actually happening so how do we do that how do we create a nice mat and the other thing is it's really important to have a good soft edge on the mat if we don't have a soft edge on the mat when we add it to our final background we will see sharp lines so what we need to do is create a nice gentle mask around here and the best way of doing this isn't to add the garbage mat to the footage but to add it to another layer and I'm going to add it to a white layer so here I've got white mat I'm just going to drag it on it's just a standard mat created and it was white so if you went to new items and you went to color mat I just made sure it was white I'm going to select that initially I'm just going to turn the opacity down to in fact I'm turning the animate opacity off I don't want it to animate just going to turn it right down don't even need to have it any opacity to work on the layer so I can turn it off so I can clearly see where I'm going now on this layer on my mat layer I add the 8 point in this case garbage mat so I'm going to type it on my effects panel over here in the search area I'm just going to type EIGHT and you see under keying I've got 8 point garbage mat grab and drop that on top of the white mat then up in my effects controls here's my 8 point garbage mat click on the word or click on this little icon wherever you see this icon here it means if you click on the name or click on the icon you can adjust it in the project panel which is exactly what we're going to do so I can take this down to about here and this down to about here and this to down to about here and this down to about here and let's just just pull it through to make sure we're not actually going anywhere over the puppet yeah that's not going to touch the puppet at all we've got a little bit of a space that'll probably do just perfectly for what we want so that's about right I can turn the opacity back up on my white mat but as you can see the edge is really really sharp so what I can do is select the layer and add a fast blur so again go to my effects get rid of what's in there and just type fast and you'll find that there is the fast blur under blur and sharpen grab and drop that on my mat and then turn up the blurriness now the problem you now have is that the edge is coming in so wherever you have something that goes to the edge it's really important you click repeat edge pixels and when you click repeat edge pixels it makes sure that the edge hasn't got any semi transparency around it so I've got a perfect mat I shouldn't be able to see the puppet at all through all of this and I can't so that's worked perfectly okay so the next thing I need to do is I need to be able to cut away this green just revealing this bit that we're going to apply the ultra key to and as I showed you in the last tutorial we can do that with the track mat effect so we can select the bottom layer in this case and we can go to our effects X off what's in there and just type track T R A C and by the time I got to that I can see under keying the track mat effect or track mat key grab it and drop it onto the bottom layer and then we can look under our track mat key up here in the effects controls for the bottom layer and then make sure when we got matte it's looking at the layer above it's giving me options for layers that exist so we want video 2 because that's the only thing that's there so click video 2 and instantly I've got a soft edge which means it will key very well and I've got an alpha channel or, or as you can see it's just black but it's actually transparency around the rest so we're going to be getting the ultra key to do the least amount of work that needs to happen however the ultra key then needs to work on the two of these combined so I'm going to select them both by holding the shift key so they're both selected then I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to choose nest and when I choose nest it is one item and then I can select that item and I can go into where it says effects get rid of what's in there and type ultra U L T R A, ultra 
and take the ultra key which is also under keying grab that and drop that onto the one item and now the ultra key is applied to the one item with its transparency and I can take the key color click the little picker and decide what color I want to get rid of say something about here click on that and well it's a start isn't it we've started to get rid of it we've still got interlacing issues um, but that's just the way the footage is when we play back that's not going to be a big issue you can still see however that we've got a few issues over here where the key is struggling okay you can see that those areas there are quite bad so I could potentially go in and make a slight change to the original so if I double click the nested layer I can select the top layer and actually click on garbage mat and maybe I could pull these in a little bit so let's see if we can get to the worst point where he falls over pull it down to about there and maybe I can just say okay well you know what I can actually get a little bit closer without actually having any problems and pull it through let's see where he goes down there you go there's not a lot more I can do perhaps just a little bit just there and uh, I'm pushing the sideways arrows just to go up and down frames I'm about as close as I can get before I'm going to have problems possibly come down a little bit on this one just double check and then when I go back to the ultra key you'll see that that's actually made it a little bit better we've not got quite as many problems and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how we can kind of sort this all out because it doesn't look really brilliant we've got quite a green fringe around him so we're going to look at the ultra key and we're going to look at a couple of other options to make him look a little bit more like he belongs when we add our background in